All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Go ahead and turn that volume down. We got a uh, very nice, very nice Cobra 29 50th anniversary edition LE. All righty, this is modded pretty well this is uh, out of my personal collection we got a dead key variable right here on the RF game okay here's an echo board here's your controls for your echo board All right, the talk back has been modified because you know Co Cobra by factory does not have a loud talk back at all so get a little uh, modification to make the talk back a lot louder all right, it's got a little Scott Key Receive mod. Um, please forgive me. I cannot remember. I think it's a 520 switch out. A MOSFET 520 switch out. I really believe it is. But um, I'm going to have to pop the top. I should have already popped it before I even started the video. But it's no big deal. Um, just look on the description of the eBay I'll put it on the description if it is a 520 switch out. I believe it is. But I had a MOSFET switch out done to it. Um, but I will put that on the description. I don't want to, sh you know, want to, you know, shoot as straight as possible, man. You know, I want to leave nothing out or whatever. All right. The only flaw to this radio, period. I'm going to dot all my I's across all my T's. On the bottom, the case is scratched on the bottom, okay? Now, this, this radio is brand new. This radio has not been, it has, the only talk time this radio's got on it is when the technician done all these mods. That is all the uh, talk time this radio has on it. Now, the scraping on the bottom was done with the, um, the radio just 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 naturally sitting around. Um, I, I don't quite remember how Mr. Jack said it was done. I got this from from a good buddy of mine, Jack, but he had explained it to me. It was just from sitting around. Uh, I think uh, in his RV, I believe it, it was. Um, I don't I don't really remember. I'm not going to sit here and tell you something I don't know. But I'm just letting you know the bottom of the. Uh, because this that was about two years ago. I cannot remember. The bottom of it is scraped a little. Let me go ahead and show you that. We're just talking about the case. It's got a couple of scratches. Let me turn this light on here. There we go. See that? I don't know if it was just the way it was sitting. I, I don't know. If it was just moving around, it got scratched. Okay. And the only other thing we have going on here. When this when this was shipped to me, there's a little ding on the uh, case. A little ding right there on the case. As you can see. There's a little ding. Okay. All right. It's real hard to see. I mean, I, I barely can even notice it. There, there, there seems to be kind of maybe just a tad little, maybe a, just a little dent. Maybe I don't know what you. Maybe just a little. I mean, it's 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 hardly not viewable as you can see here, right here at this corner, right here. This was done during shipping when it was shipped to me. I mean, you can't even see it but I just want to you know I want to point everything out that I can you know there's, there's no dang tricks here I ain't trying to trick nothing get, get nothing by you I want you to know everything about the whole thing some things sometimes you can't see small things like this in videos till you get it and you're like hold on he didn't say nothing about that 
be honest with you, the majority of people wouldn't even notice this. I just want to point it out because I noticed it when I got it. Right there, just right there at the corner. So basically, you could put a brand new, uh, the top's fine. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The top is fine. Pretty much. But, you know, if you wanted to, if you just replace the, the case here, I mean, it would be beautiful. Beautiful. Like I said, this right here is so small you can't even notice. But anyway, operation of it is beautiful. That's what I'm going to show you now. All right. Squelch. All right. All right, that's dynamite. Okay. RF gain, that is your dead key variable now, okay? Here's your controls for your um, for your echo board. Here's this talk back. Go ahead and let you hear the talk back. Great audio coming out of this radio, y'all. Great, great audio. Audio testing. Audio testing one two one two three four five. Turn this, turn this echo on for you. Audio, great, great, crisp sounding audio, man. Sounds wonderful. Audio testing, echo, echo, echo. Audio testing one two one two three four five. All righty. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the dead key variable. Uh, all right. This right here is recalibrated for a bird, but it is shows it shows a little less than a bird, okay? Shows a little less than a bird, which I would rather it show less than more. And we got the bird meter right here with a 10 watt slug in, okay? All right. Go ahead and turn this on the 10 watt scale. Okay, we'll be reading peak with this uh, and, and average with that, but just to show you that it is right there with the bird, but a little bit less, we'll put it on average. Okay. Now let's turn this top back off so that won't bother us too much there. Okay. All right, all the way down, it is showing exactly one watt. All the way up, three watts on this meter, okay? Let's go over here with to the bird. All the way down is in between, it's 1.5 watts, in between a watt and two watts. As you see, this right here is showing it a little lower, as I said. All right. Right there, a hair under four watts. Okay. So that's your dead key control. Pretty much one to one and a half watts up to a four watt dead key. All righty. We'll go ahead and turn that dead key back down. Okay. Go ahead and put this on peak. Oh, yeah. Off the metal. We're going to go ahead and turn it up on a 100-watt scale, okay? Reading this scale up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's showing about 22 watts peak, which I said, y'all remember, this is showing a little less than a bird, okay? Now let's go over to the bird. Don't uh, almost six bird, right? A little bit under six bird. Uh, almost six bird. Okay. That is real good and real good for a little Cobra 29 with just a basic little Peak and tune. Like I said, I can't remember if it's a MOSFET switch out yet, and I'll put it on the eBay listing. I'll make sure to double check that and take the take the bottom off and 
and uh, double check that. I, I can almost swear that it's a 520 switch out, but I can't tell you on the video. I would just uh, stop and pop the bottom off real quick, but to be honest with you, I might just do that. All right. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, filter works. Uh, menu works just fine. Color display. Let's get out of here. All right, display color. All right, works just fine. All right, you got your brightness, your WX alert, contrast. You got a lot of little controls here. Radio check, key tones. You can go up here to key tones if you want to, and I can turn that back on. To where it's making a noise every time I turn from everything. All right. Show you too with reference to your uh, your digital RF here with a dead key. Let me show you. All right, watch that. Watch that right there. You see how it's showing pretty much about one and a half watts. And then all the way up, you know, it's, you know, it's not accurate. It's just something you can use if you want to. If you don't have a meter in front of you, you can hook up a meter and just kind of see, you know, okay, when it's all the way down, where is it sitting on here? When it's in the middle, where is it sitting on here? Where, you know, you can use it for reference so you can see exactly where your dead key is just by looking at that. All righty, well, that's, uh, getting the West Coast in there now. <laughs> Go ahead and change the weather. Weather channel. Alright, public address. Boys out there on the west side coming with that heat, no doubt about it. All right, and you got your SWR cal. I guess I can uh, be honest with you. I don't know if I ever checked SWR with these 50s. Let's see here. Oh, over here. Yeah, change it over to cal. Key it. Let's see. Let's see. All right, yeah. You key it. You can go all the way to Cal. Right there. And then uh, flip it over to SWR. And key. Go to SWR. And then key. Look at that. Barely nothing. Maybe like a one two is what it's showing on the radio. All right. Well, there you go. Let's go ahead and unhook. Let's unhook this and go over there real quick if y'all want to bear with me. And uh, let's go see if it's got a 520 switch out real quick. I just don't want you know. I just want to have all the I's and D's crossed here. People out here on eBay, man, they'll, uh, <laughs> they don't, a lot of them don't care about your feelings, man. They, they don't give them no room to use nothing against you on feedback or something. All right. Y'all right, bear with me. All right, here we go. Have some music playing for y'all if I could. Do 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do Gatekeeper silly as heck. Do do. All right. There we go. All right. There is the RF game pot right there. By the way. Okay. So if you want to. Adjust your RF gain, you still can. All right, let's, let's go ahead and, and get in here and take a look. Okay, I can't see. Let me put this phone down one second, y'all. Let me hold it to the light here. IRF. 